Lord. Once upon a time, many children didn't attend preschool at all, and those who did spend the morning cutting, pasting, and playing house. These days, preschools have ripped a passage in academic preschools that promise to prepare kids for the cultural world of kindergarten are becoming more and more popular. But are they a good idea? Not really, says many experts. Research shows that academic preschools offer children no long-term advantage academically, but make them more anxiety, says Rebecca Colinor, author of I Say Never Use Flashcards. How our children really learn and why they need to play more and memorize less. What is a childhood without play? When it comes time to choose a preschool for your child, the choices can be overwhelming. The first step of the process for most parents is to decide what type of preschool they will want their child to attend. But research tells us that what children need for future academic success is definitely presented in a play-based child center program and it's not presented in an early childhood program of teacher-led instructions and worksheets. According to a study that took place in Washington, D.C., too many students were being retained in kindergarten and the school district wanted to know why they were not succeeding. Therefore, Dr. Rebecca Markle looked at this large number of students again in fourth grade and found that students who were in play-based programs in the early years did sustainably better than those in the academic program. So, with a variety of preschools to choose from in today's society, which one will effectively prepare today's children for, for kindergarten? Is it a play-based curriculum, the answer? Or is it an instruct-based teacher-direct curriculum, the best choice for preschool children? This has been an ongoing debate between ed educators and parents for years. In academic-based programs, are teacher-direct. This means that children have limited choices in what learning takes place and how their learning happens. Teachers, teachers essentially plan activities for the children in the classes and guide the children in that learning. In a play-based program, children are given the autonomy to choose activities based on their current interests, typically offering children a fun learning environment where they can focus on socializing and making friends. For many play-based preschools, the goal is not necessary to teach the children how to read. Rather, they want the children to love learning. Therefore, that is why play-based curriculum should be mandated in all preschool programs. Most important, they give children the chance to develop language and literacy skills, social, emotional, and cognitive skills, which prepare them for kindergarten. In addition, preschool is a time for children to expand their love of learning, their general knowledge, the ability to get along with others, and their interest in reaching out to the world. It is important that children still get to these children. Now that you know the difference in play-based versus teacher-direct, would non-play programs have resulted in these same outcomes? So, what is play? According to Foss, play is the essence of creativity in children throughout the world. We do not have to be taught to play. It is a universal activity. Indeed, children of every culture engage in play. You know, I never really thought of play as a learning tool. Rather, I thought of it as just something to take up time with children. Now I realize that play benefits children in many ways. It is an excellent tool for learning, not just something they do with no real consequence. Today, I will introduce you to the benefits of play in the preschool classroom. When children play, they acquire concepts that they may not get without being involved in playing. They develop friendship. They learn to take turns, to share, to negotiate, to resolve conflicts, and postpone gratification. Play is the best way for young children to learn the concept skills and tasks needed to set a solid foundation for later school and life success. We see how play becomes children's work. Finally, let us review the benefits of play in the preschool classroom. Social dramatic play enhances children capacity for reflecting before acting, role-taking, perspective-taking, and empathy. In play with peers, children negotiate and problem-solve skills are promoted as their ability to cooperate with others. Play is a way of life for children. It is what children do and is a serious business to them. It is very clear that play plays an important part in a young child's life. At one time or another, you may have taught to yourself 
that all children do in preschool is play your thing. Now that you have learned the value of playing, I encourage you to take the opportunity to visit a preschool classroom. Thank you.